Now, if we're going to talk about what to say to drive how they move, the first thing that we might want to get just off the table as a topic is how many cues we should provide. Okay. And so here we could go into neuroscience, but I'm not going to do that to you. We're going to keep it very simple and straightforward with the story. So the story goes something like this. Einstein wanted to learn to golf. He got himself a golf coach. They go out to the range and of course, bucket of balls, right? All the clubs starts teaching Einstein how to hold the club, how to set up, how to tee up the ball, backswing, downswing, follow through. Pretty soon Einstein is feeling overload. It says, stop walks over and what I imagine is a very intellectual walk over the balls, grabs as many as he can. And as he tosses them at the instructor says, catch. Now, obviously all the balls come flying down. The instructor looks shocked. And Einstein says to him, just as you cannot catch all these balls, I cannot possibly think about everything you are saying. Give me one thing to focus on at a time. And so the moral of the story is this focus and attention is not the same thing as memory. You might be able to give someone three cues and they could remember or recall them. But in the moment under the bar, right, in the Olympic lift, up at back, up on the mound, in those given moments, I can only put my attention, my spotlight on one thing at a time. And so you might have a cue for the down phase and the up phase of a squat. That's fine as long as the athlete knows that. But when it comes to hunting down the right cue, we want to be building movement one cue one focus point at a time. You can cash that check at a bank, I promise you. And that is the one thing, if you do anything immediately, check yourself on two things. One, am I ensuring the cue is happening right before the movement and it's not getting lost in my description? And then two, am I only giving them one thing to think about? Because it's only through that process that then you can check whether or not that cue worked. If you give two or three, just practically speaking, how are you going to follow back up and figure out what worked? Like a Rolodex, right? They're trying to flip through these cues as fast as they can because it is cognitively impossible for them to think about them consciously all at the same time. So this is a big area for coaching and movement professionals in general that we need to check ourselves.